Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since I've sat down and done a proper beauty chat video, so I feel like I'm a little bit rusty. Things could get rambly and go astray, but we're gonna roll with it. So I thought coming back to doing a proper sit down beauty video, I would talk about one of my favorite makeup things ever, which is lipstick, and more importantly, liquid lipstick. I feel like liquid lipstick has just taken the world by storm. I really don't see anybody else using anything on Instagram, on social media, on YouTube, other than liquid lipstick, and I have to agree, it's one of my favorite things. There's been a few new launches, a few new things I wanna show you, so I'm just gonna talk about some of my new favorite liquid lipsticks. I also have a giveaway coming at the end of this video, um, and there's something really exciting that you can guys win, so stay tuned for that. I'll talk about all the details, how to win, how to to enter what you're actually going to win at the end. So I'm going to get started with the range that I'm probably the newest to of all of these. I always forget how to say the name of this one, so I'm just going to read it straight from the bottle. I hope that's okay. These are the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink Matte Liquid Lip Colours. <laughs> I have two shades of these. I had a little swatching session at the Chanel counter. They're very red and pinky based, so there's not a lot of diversity between the shades, but um, these two actually were the lightest and the darkest, and I loved them, so I decided to pick them up, and I've been trying them out this week. These, along with actually all of the lipsticks I'm talking about today, are very different to the classic liquid lipstick. They kind of go on very differently than you would expect, so I like to put a coat of this on. You can definitely get a full colour with one coat, but it's a teeny bit sheerer, and then you let it set down and you apply a second coat. Normally with liquid lipsticks, you want to avoid putting any more than one coat on but these are so unnoticeable on the lips that I could honestly sit there and layering and layering it up and I really wouldn't notice I was wearing it. There is a slight difference between the lights and the darks. This one here is a really beautiful natural pink. This is called Amoureux and um, I've been wearing this on a daily basis. I really really like it for that. This you can get away with one swipe. It's pretty much a your lips but slightly pinker, a little bit nicer, a bit better type colour so um, it's a really easy one to apply. Whereas this one here which is the shade Experimente, that was a bit more of a Spanish accent than a French one, sorry, is uh, a little bit trickier to work with, but the payoff really is worth spending the extra time. Um, so I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. I really fancy this kind of deep burgundy kind of shade. It's my favourite thing to wear in autumn, and I really haven't worn bright lipstick for a while, or any sort of bold lip colours, so this was one of the first that I've worn this year, and I really love it. So the nice thing about having that super thin and buildable formula is that when it comes to a bold lip you can really sit there and work at it. I personally have really uneven lips so I have to kind of match things up and um, things can get a little bit cakey if I'm using too much product but not with this at all and they have a very different consistency as well. They are definitely matte, they look matte once they've dried down but they still feel a little bit movable. They feel slightly moisturising and hydrating and honestly that is so comfortable to wear. I could wear these all day long without having any concerns about how dry my lips were getting. They are not drying at all. Really comfortable really moisturizing. If you're eating or if you're just going you know the whole day with one application they're probably not gonna last you the whole time especially the lighter colors I think they have the potential to sort of fade into your lips a lot quicker but really don't let that discourage you because I think they are really nice liquid lipsticks so if you can't handle the dry feeling that you get with a normal liquid lipstick I definitely recommend these. So next I'm going to talk about the new Giorgio Armani lip magnets. These are just so different and so unexpected they're not like any liquid lipstick I've tried before. They almost remind me a little bit of a lip stain. So they have one of those applicators that is quite big, almost kind of diamond shape. And you see this a lot with slightly thinner formulas, so things that are a little bit more liquidy. And uh, when you apply these, again, they're quite similar to the Chanel ones in that they're just so thin. And I really feel like that is the new way that liquid lipsticks are heading, the new formula that they're going towards, is having something really thin and buildable that you can still get intense pigment and intense color out of, but is just so much easier to apply and to wear. So again, these need maybe a couple of coats, although they are super pigmented, so honestly you can get away with just one with some of the lighter shades. The darker ones, like the reds, I have this beautiful rich dark red here, which is number 402, and uh, then this insane kind of chilly bright orange red, which is beautiful. Such a nice Christmassy shade, I think this one would be. These might need a little bit more time, but I'm fine with that. I like to kind of sit there and perfect my lipstick anyway. Um, so the way that these wear, they have a similar kind of comfortable, slightly moisturizing feel to them, but they definitely look a lot more matte. So you really do notice the matte finish with this one. Not matte in a chalky way, but almost matte in a natural kind of lip 
texture way. Um, so that's really cool, I think. It just looks like your own natural lips. So especially if you're wearing a lighter, more natural shade here, I really like this one. This is 504. And um, again, it's been one of my go-to daily lip colors. It's just really easy to throw on. So because they have this kind of stain in them as well, they definitely have a stain. Um, once the kind of initial product may wear off, if you're eating, if it's been a really long day, the color still stays stained onto your lips, which I think is amazing. So these are kind of the first liquid lip stain matte lipsticks out there. I haven't seen anything like these at all. Um, so I think if you're someone that really struggles with your lipstick lasting, these would be perfect. They're really nice to reapply as well. So if you already have a few coats on, it's been a few hours. If you just want to put a little bit more on, you can totally get away with it. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't go kind of too patchy like it can sometimes when you reapply liquid lipsticks. It just works really well, so um, I think these are definitely great for longevity, long wear, and just really good long-lasting lip colour. So the next ones are slightly different to the bunch that I have here, and uh, these are from YSL. They come in very swish, very sleek looking black packaging, and these are the vinyl lip creams. So this is totally off the other end of the scale into the more glossy kind of liquid lipstick, but I decided to include them in this video because they are very similar in texture to a liquid lipstick. The applicators are very similar. Um, to the Armani ones, they have that kind of slightly diamond shaped tip. They go on incredibly smooth, they actually remind me a lot of the YSL lip stains, but the pigment is so, so much more intense, really, really true colours. And they have a slight thickness to them, which some people may not like on their lips, but I find really comforting, it's nice to kind of be able to feel that lip product there. A lot of the times stains on my lips just tend to be very dry and I can't feel them and I just like to have a lip product there. It's kind of like a security blanket. I need to know my lipstick is actually on my lips. So these kind of embody a stain alongside a really kind of rich, pigmented looking, incredibly glossy lip. These are so, so glossy and beautiful. So if you're into that kind of lip look, there really isn't anything that compares. And honestly, that will last you as long. We all know glossy lips just are so hard to maintain and keep up throughout the day whereas these just stick around they really do they feel great and they last a long time which I think is what we all look for in our lipsticks so the last liquid lipstick formula I have to show you guys is one that you've seen me talk quite a lot about on this channel already I think it was in my last favorites video and um, these have probably been around the longest you might have seen these on social media and places like that but honestly these are just one of my absolute favorite new launches when it comes to liquid lipsticks and I think they're just worth talking about all day long because they are so good. So these are the Huda Beauty matte lip colors. So if you like your original kind of liquid lipstick formula, something that is insanely pigmented and very kind of matte, so they're kind of very original, almost powdery looking matte is how I would describe these. These are the ones you want to go for. I have five shades here, but there are quite a few colors. Actually, all of these, maybe except for the Chanel ones, have an insane range of colors. There's just so many to choose from. They're all slightly darker in shade. There's no really light colors. Um, so me having pale skin did struggle a tiny bit to find ones that I liked but in the end I managed to get all of the ones that I wanted. I had to do a few orders because these things sell out so quickly but I got the five that I really really wanted to try so I'm gonna go through the shades here. I have Trendsetter which is actually the color I applied in my favorites video I think. This is a very kind of brownie toned natural nude. On me it is quite dark and quite brown so it's definitely more of a bold natural look but I really like the shade. I think it is very beautiful, very autumn autumnal. Bombshell is a little bit lighter so this has slightly more pinky undertones in it. This is probably the most wearable of all the colours that I have and um, I really really like it. I've been wearing this one a lot. And then Cheerleader is the red that I went for. There's about three or four reds to choose from and this one is actually something different to what I would usually pick. It's a very kind of brick red. Has a tiny bit of orange in it but more of a kind of rusty burnt coppery orange which I love. Again a little bit autumny, a bit festive. Um, um, so I've been really enjoying this one. I want to go for a red. The one that's probably the most daring and the most bold is Vamp. This is an insane dark burgundy. If I had this on compared to the one I'm wearing now, it would almost come off as really dark, dark brown, dark black on camera because it is so pigmented and so rich. But again, it's a shade that I absolutely love. I think this paired with super, super minimal makeup would be amazing. So that's my pick for a really dark,
dark, dark colour. Um, and then Gossip Girl is the one that I probably don't wear the most. It's quite a pinky pink, and I'm not super into pinky pink shades, but it's still a really beautiful shade if you like those kind of colours. And uh, yeah, those are the five that I have. So wear and longevity wise, they go on so great. They really are really smooth, very easy to apply and very pigmented. You do have to be careful with doubling up on layers because they can get a little bit cakey and a tiny bit drying. Um, but I always think that if you have a lip balm underneath a liquid lipstick, it's just gonna look 10 times better. So I think that's a bit of a must with these ones. Other than that, they last a really long time up until you eat anything. But I think they really stand up to the test. They really do stay on all night long, which is obviously the mark of a great liquid lipstick. So the reason I wanted to talk about those in this video, even though they've been out a little bit longer than some of the others, is that I have five fresh ones to give away. Um, I'm really excited about this. I haven't done a giveaway for quite a long time. So I have one of each of the shades I just showed you to give away to you guys. So there's gonna be five winners. I'll leave all the information about the giveaway, the details, how to enter and to win down below. But basically, I just want you to tell me which shade you want. Just comment below which shade that you want to win and I will pick a winner in about a week's time. Only one shade, you guys. You can only have one. Um, so tell me what your favorite is and then I will pick five winners from that. So that's it, those are my four new favorite liquid lipstick launches. I have a matte one, a glossy one, a staining one, and then I have a comfortable one because comfort is always important. Let me guys know out of the four of these if you've tried any, what your favorites are, the shades that you like, I'd really love to know. And if you're commenting as well, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see any more of these rundowns for other types of products, maybe mascaras, maybe foundations, another lip product, anything you can think of, anything you want to see just let me know so that's it for me today i'm gonna stop rambling now as i always do and i will see you guys in my next video bye